A couple months ago, we tried to get two of our friends onto the Netflix dating show called Love is Blind, but unfortunately things went awry. It didn't go as planned and didn't make the cut. However, I still want to share the whole process as well as their audition videos because this could have been something special. For those that don't know, Netflix has a program called Love is Blind and it's a very goofy concept. Its whole shtick is people go on dates without ever being able to see each other. They go into these little pods that act like solitary confinement for prisoners, but in this case, it's prisoners of love. So they want to see if people can fall in love with each other without ever being able to know what they look like. Not exactly the most original or most profound concept. I mean, people get married to shit that doesn't even exist. I watched a whole documentary about women that fall in love with ghosts and get married to them. Actually just falling in love with fucking ideas of people as opposed to real people. And if you've ever played RuneScape or World of Warcraft, you know people are getting married all the time without even knowing what the other person sounds like, let alone looks like. So of course there's going to be people that are down to get married because they talked to each other in some pods and had a smile on their face. But regardless, the reason why we thought this would be fun is because Love is Blind came to our neck of the woods, Tampa. And they were filming their new season here. And I swear as God is my witness, if Tampa is known for one thing other than bath salts, it's good lovers. And we have the best lovers in our crew. Specifically, Caleb and Aaron. We thought this was the perfect opportunity to unleash the hounds and let Aaron and Caleb finally find love. So we signed them up. They went through the interview process. They, we had the videos filmed to submit for the auditioning where they'd vet through the contestants. And I just want to share all of that with you because what a wild ride it was. Even though I've already spoiled the conclusion of this anime, it ultimately ended in failure. Sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. We still have all of their audition tapes. They did many takes and many different angles to try and put together the perfect recipe for success. So I'm going to show you some of the best moments of those videos. Now before getting into that, I want to thank Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Opera GX is the best browser available. I switched over a year ago and I've never looked back. Its features are just the best. It offers the best possible experience. Not only is it not a resource hog like Chrome and all of that, but it's also just it has everything you'd want while browsing the web. You can have your messaging apps on the side so that way you can talk to your friends while browsing the web without having to switch between tabs or anything like that. It's very convenient. You can also just fully customize it exactly how you want. They even have these cool wallpapers for Moist Esports and myself, which is just amazing. They even have a forced dark mode option so that way when you go to a new website you're not hit with like a flashbang on light mode. There's just so many options and so many features. And if you're already on something like Chrome, they even have a way of just importing your current settings and extensions into Opera GX so it's seamless and it's quick. One of the new features is also the ability to have the 12 newest uploads for myself in Opera GX so that way you can stay up to date. Like everything is just really cool. So I highly recommend getting Opera GX. I think it is the best browser available and it's free to download so click the link in the description. Thanks again to Opera GX. Now the process for getting them signed up for Love is Blind was surprisingly simple. I thought it was going to be a big song and dance, a cutthroat competition to even get them considered. But I'm assuming that since they were in Tampa, they just didn't have a whole ton of people applying. Everyone was too busy doing literally anything else. So they kind of just got the fast pass through this process. Basically you just say, hey, I'm interested and have a pulse. And they are super down to just like feed you everything they need to have you apply. One of the first things was answering a massive questionnaire, but even before getting to the questionnaire, there were some red flags that seemed that they might pose a problem for our boys here. They made it clear that they were going to be doing a deep dive through all of their social media. And for Caleb, that's a totally fine thing, because it's all pretty squeaky clean. But this includes Twitter, of course. And for Aaron, we knew immediately this was going to pose some problems. This would be our first hurdle to overcome here. Because when you go to Aaron's Twitter, there are some real nuggets of beauty. I'll just show you a couple of his tweets around the time that he was being considered for Love is Blind. So there's this banger here. Wowee, that pussy has ray tracing. Sorry to say the war on Christmas was finally lost when Israel's Iron Dome shot down Santa's test flight, killing all on board. Breaking, Grimace from McDonald's has passed away after choking on my cock. My girl is doing CSGO inspect animations on my cock. If Twitter shuts down, my odds of being on Love is Blind improve dramatically. So pretty self-aware on that one. 
Now, I think all of these are wonderful. These are motivational, even. I could see these being hung up on sorority girls' walls. But I could see why some of the octogenarians at the Love is Blind headquarters probably would have an issue with these. But regardless, we kept our spirits high, and then they moved into filling out the questionnaires. Now, Caleb took this very seriously, giving the most generic answers possible, kind of being like that baseline NPC. Like, everything he was giving is what we thought the Love is Blind team would be looking for. Like, a geriatric elderly person's definition of, like, what an old-fashioned good boy would be. That's every single one of Caleb's answers. Aaron, however, went in the complete opposite direction. It was fucking unhinged. He was like the Immortan Joe of Love is Blind auditions. He gave some of the wackiest answers imaginable. For example, one of the questions was talking about like a really hard period in the person's life, trying to get to like a more sensitive side, I guess for like a sob story in the show. I imagine the responses they were looking for with that question were things like, you know, it was really hard when I lost my job due to COVID. You know, the lockdown took its toll on my mental health, that kind of thing. Aaron gave an entire fan fiction's worth of lore for his most traumatic experience. He told a story about how the hardest period in his life was the loss of his grandmother and grandfather when they tragically blew up in an oil refinery explosion. And the worst part about the situation was that he had to be called to the morgue in order to identify their charred corpses. So... I, th I liked his odds. Uh, after hearing and reading some of his answers to the questions, I thought he stood a great chance of making it. Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm 24. Uh, I love karaoke. I'm looking for that special someone to do karaoke with. Um, I love blind women. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm 24. Uh, I'm a cork pusher. That means I test drywall for... Uh, businesses and I check keep up to date and make sure drywall is like completely safe. Um, a fun fact about me is I ate 35 apples in a day and I got arsenic poisoning and I was rushed to the hospital. I was gonna consider crying. I, I think I should like have a uh, like just yeah, like a you, tragic backstory. You after your <laughs> Everyone I've ever dated has died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's, uh, that's how I ended. It's like, let's see if you can be the one to break the curse. <laughs> Overall, a pretty solid first attempt here from Aaron. This wasn't the one we ended up submitting, surprisingly. Uh, to further clarify on the cork pushing thing he's talking about, this is actually, like, well-established Aaron lore. It's a lie that he tells people anytime they ask him what he does for a living, pretty much. He tells them that he's a union cork pusher. And when they inevitably inquire about what that position means. He says that he takes wine cork bottles and puts them up against drywall and lightly taps them, listening for vibrational frequencies to make sure the drywall is safe for the establishment. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I'm actually surprised it's not a real job. But uh, yeah, we didn't use any of these here, but he gave it many more attempts. I'd like to show you Caleb's though, because Caleb's were pretty fire. I'm really surprised they didn't choose him. I feel like this is exactly what they would have wanted. Hey, what's up? My name's Caleb, Joel Dixon. I'm 27 years old and I am looking for love. I'm ready to get in a relationship and I'm looking for something that's really gonna last a long time. Hey, what's up? My name's Caleb Joel Dixon. I'm 27 years old, I'm looking for love. I'm looking for a girl to tie the knot with so that way we can have a successful relationship, maybe have a couple kids and get that white picket fence home. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? My name's Caleb Joel Dixon. I'm 27 years old, I'm looking for love. Um, looks don't really matter to me, they never have. I was really ugly and fat growing up and I got made fun of all the time. So on the outside, that doesn't really matter to me. What matters is on the inside. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Caleb Joel Dixon. I'm 27 years old and I'm looking for love. Um, I don't really care about looks, you know, much like food. Some food doesn't look the best, but it tastes really good. I'm looking for that special someone that tastes really good. These are textbook answers delivered with the appropriate energy that I feel like executives would have looked at and been like, okay, this guy's uh, outgoing and will be a good fit. But I guess not. I really thought, I don't remember exactly which one we used, but I really thought like any of his would have actually flown pretty highly in like the internal discussions for who they should have for the fucking Tampa Love is Blind show. Like who the fuck else would have even bothered auditioning? Caleb would have been like the only one that's not overdosing on Xanax who applied. Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm 24 and I love calling women bitches. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm 24, and I'm looking for a bad bitch to make my balls explode. <laughs> oh, we should get, we, we haven't done any like accents or anything though. 
We are, we are now, now, we are, my, we are, hello there, my name. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm 24 and I just got out of prison. Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm 24, oh, are, are you rolling? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm 24, I was born on March 10th, which is the same day Shaggy Dog came out in theaters. I want to find a woman. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm 24. Um, a lot of my previous relationships just, you know, haven't worked out, petered out, things like that. Um, I'm hoping in the pods, you know, maybe I can get a real connection, get something going. Uh, you know, getting locked into a relationship like that, maybe that's what I need. Just, you know, to fully commit to it. I am literally guts from Berserk. I can't quite recall which full take we used of Aaron to submit to them, but I'm pretty sure we Frankenstein together something that wouldn't make them scared of him. Uh, and neither one of our, our boys got chosen, which is weird. But I also would like to make it clear the footage I'm using here isn't the main camera footage. It's just the main camera footage was so big it took so long to import it to Sony Vegas because the program's kind of archaic that I just decided to use our backup camera, which was at this angle. So the actual footage was like straight on, normal interview style footage. That's why this one's at like kind of a weird angle. So I don't know where we went wrong. I thought one of them or both of them should have been a shoe in to make it on Love is Blind, but unfortunately not. I didn't want all this to go to waste. So I wanted to share it all with you so you could appreciate what could have been. It would have been a very special season of the show. Big L from Netflix, not choosing Aaron or Caleb. And uh, yeah, just want to talk about that a little bit. That's it. See ya.